familiar? Great, is yeah. recording, yeah. you're famous. Yeah. So welcome, welcome. I'm happy, yeah. very glad. Yeah. Hello, Miss. Are you yeah. good? Oh, yeah, can you please place in mute? Sería excelente. Okay, thank you. It's too noisy. Next. Hello, Victor. Mm -hmm. So, welcome. How are you? All right. Um, I am fine. Okay, uh, is this John? John, tell me about you before we start. You know, this is Dr. Pizarro, founder and president of Elite Language Academy. So glad to have an, an international audience this evening. Um, this is a listening speaking class, lesson four. Uh, apparently pretty much um, basic intermediate, inter low intermediate level. So we'll see how it is, which is very standard. You know, um, pretty much I try to gather pieces that will be pretty much suitable for any English level in a way, okay? But first, before I, I continue with the class, I would like to know more about John. Please, John, introduce yourself. Who is John? Where is he from? Uh, what does he do? What is the story behind John? My person? Yes. Okay. okay my, my name is John uh, Zabaleta. Mm -hmm. I'm from Peru, I'm from Lima. Mm -hmm. um, I am studying engineering. In engineering. University, engineering. Mm -hmm. In University of Callao. Mm -hmm. uh, I am happy uh, on learning English. Yes, you're doing great. Uh, how long have you have you been learning English, John? Um, one month. Really? Uh, really, really. Uh, wow, great. You've been very exposed to English. Your English is pretty well. Yes, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Anyway. I am learning. Uh, uh -huh. Uh, I am learning alone practice, uh, mm -hmm. not, not grow, no? Yes. Okay, so I'm uh, so hopefully you'll enjoy uh, today's class for sure. So let's let's give room to another participant and uh, it will be great to know more about the audience. So it's more, um, it, it provides a human touch even though we are connected through technology, right? So. So it would like, you know, it would be great to see your faces too. All right. Okay, if you have a chance. All right. Anyways, Lisbeth, who would like to introduce? John, thank you so much for participating and opening, helping me open in this class. Uh, okay. Who else? Who else would like to, to say, you know, some words, you know, uh, where you're from, you know, your interest, uh, maybe your occupation. Um, the length of time you've been exposed to English or any, any, any thoughts? Who is this? Chris. Yes, go ahead. Chris. <laughs> Fernando, who would like to say, you know, some words before we, you know, formally uh, start the class? I'm Megan. All right. Go ahead. I'm listening. ¿Quién enseñó al Espíritu de Jehová o le aconsejó enseñándole? 14 más. 
Okay, that's great. This is very spiritual, you know, spiritual words. But, uh, more, if you say it in English, it will be nice. <laughs> yes. O le enseñó ciencia. O le mostró la senda de la prudencia. Chris, who's... What are you doing? I don't know. You know, it's just, just Fernando. Anyways, um, I think that I will start. Okay, so I think, uh, we have a decent number of participants. Okay, so will you please place in mute uh, your microphone? Otherwise, is uh, it will interrupt what I'm saying. Muy okay, claro. Okay, Lorena is coming. Okay, so she welcome, welcome. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see more an intermediate, you know, uh, basic advanced level. All right. Mm. All right. Okay, so let me share my screen. Okay, welcome everyone. All right, to lesson five. Uh, this is pretty much emphasizing pronunciation, listening and speaking skills toward daily life, of course, but more into practice your um, business, business world, where you've been exposed, doing any type of activity, all right? So uh, we'll go through the interactive tools that we use normally at the institution, my participation as an expert, and of course, um, the participation of the whole class. All right, so let's start. Uh, I will be sharing my screen at this moment. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, so Ella's English Life Lessons, lesson four speaking English fluently and professionally in business. So pretty much, you know, our agenda, hopefully we'll make it happen. We'll be combining English skills, of course, giving you an overview of our institution, Elite Language Academy. Just uh, a quick intro. Uh, we'll be using the tools of North Star Listen and Speaking plus Business Partner, uh, also dashboard, uh, between levels A2 and B1, uh, based on our grading scale in English. And of course, we'll have the closing. So this is pretty much our agenda. Uh, our mission, our mission uh, is pretty much, you know, serving, you know, our international uh, population. We exist to facilitate language learning, multicultural awareness, being present and teaching practices through technological innovation. We strive, we really, you know, work really hard to impact the student success achieving academic and professional goals on a global scale. And finally, we inspire an educational connection which promotes global growth through the walls of virtual space as we're doing it right now. Our vision, we, uh, Elite Language Academy wants to be uh, a country, you know, wants to contribute to the global uh, growing business and um, growing, growing business life. Uh, nowadays, we aspire to be a world-class conductor, facilitators that will empower our students to be global leaders, assuring their language education to obtain their ultimate professional goals. And especially because we gather students from all over the world and uh, powerful individuals like you speaking more than two languages and some of you more than three. So you are bilingual, you are bicultural. So I believe that you have a, a lot of to contribute, a lot to give to the world. We just need to uh, have the switch codes of languages, in this case, English, to expand and share that knowledge and expertise. So that's pretty much our, our mission, our work. Uh, Elite Language Academy, ELA, um, is pretty much designed in a very practical, simple way. You take courses, most of our courses, uh, length are between eight or 12 weeks. Uh, pretty much it's a combined language skills. It's pretty much an online course, it's un curso en línea, and it incorporates as part of the course, uh, it's, it's already included, you know, in your investment, your 
live sessions with an expert, a linguistic, and pretty much in most cases, uh, an American instructor uh, to reinforce what you've been covering in the lessons, all right? So we guide you through the process. You are not alone. We call you hands, los tomamos de las manos, to make sure that you complete the course. Um, the, the private lessons or in group are also part of your package. So it's pretty much everything in one. Your English lab is included, your ebook is included, your workbook, and the presence and expertise of language and linguistic uh, professionals. Our job is to ensure you complete the course. So you have, uh, you have a great book, we follow up uh, an artifact and a project and assignment to make sure that you are pretty much meeting the standards of our institution. But you earn your certificate instantly, all right? To show to your workplace, to include it in your professional profile and pretty much for your personal growth. Um, progressively, uh, this is pretty much an overview of our services. We have the academic English, which is great, is the English for academic purposes. That's a pretty much intermediate advanced program for students who already know English in a way has, they have studied yes. it, but they are willing to uh, have a master's degree, a bachelor's yes. degree, you know, uh, in an uh, in American institution or in any institution that is conducted by the English language and culture. We, always, we also have the basic English class, which is the accelerated English program. El inglés, el programa de inglés eh, común, internacionalmente, básico, intermedio, avanzado. Eh, y también incluimos the TOEFL, IELTS, College Essay Prep, which is composition, essay writing, uh, business conversation. And uh, for young adults, you know, all over the world, uh, Elite Language Academy has a, a partnership with USA Academics. What, what is USA Academics? Is a high school, an American high school, uh, accredited, is pretty much legal. Uh, it pretty much works here in the, in the United States. And pretty much Elite Language Academy takes care of the English language, English training of the students, of international students. And the students can be registered to get a high school diploma. En otras palabras, un muchacho de de qué sé yo, 14, 16, 17 años puede cursar el programa de secundaria estando en su país natal, eh, obteniendo una certificación eh, de un diploma de secundaria de los Estados Unidos, que obviamente les abre las puertas para estudiar en una universidad americana eh, y simplemente consecutivamente pues seguir educándose. Eh, no hay necesidad de, de tomar el TOEFL, el IELTS, ¿por qué? Porque viene preparándose y va a egresar de una institución americana. Eh, realmente este, este partnership, este convenio es súper enriquecedor, atractivo y generoso para muchas personas que no necesariamente están en Estados Unidos, como aquí, que tenemos algunos alumnos y están en proceso de, la, de legalidad, pero también eh, las, el, el, el population, la población internacional, eh, me parece que es eh, muy llamativo y, y bueno, eh, podemos usted, les puedo decir un poco más detalles luego si tienen alguna pregunta. So, esta clase, antes de continuar, es direccionada a personas que ya tienen cierto bagaje eh, de instrucción del idioma inglés. Si es necesario, como en este momento, eh, para unir obviamente a la comunidad y en esta sesión, incorporaré el, el idioma castellano si es necesario. Pero realmente parte del, de la metodología y de acuerdo a, la, a tantos estudios de lingüística y de enseñanza como de inglés de segunda lengua y de cualquier idioma, no hay como simplemente exponer al alumno 100%, 90, 95.9% en el idioma inglés y automáticamente las personas van adquiriendo la habilidad en el idioma extranjero como aprender su propio idioma, como aprenden los bebés, ¿no? los niños prácticamente señalando con visuales, experimentando. So let's back on business. So that's pretty much, you know, an overview. So our class, pretty much class will be combined. It's true, uh, it is true that lesson four is directed to listening and speaking and pronunciation skills toward business. But guess what? It doesn't mean that we'll ignore grammar. It doesn't mean that we don't have to really enrich ourselves to grasp more vocab words. We're having more 
I will be sharing more uh, vo vocab words and language use, which is very important. And grammar, we cannot ignore grammar. How, how are you going to speak the language correctly? You don't know the grammar rules, you know, so an exception. So of course, but everything is combined. That's what we said. We work pretty much Elite Language Academy, ELA, main tools, not the only ones, because of course, uh, we have more interactive tools and uh, teaching tools, but our main dashboards, you know, to provide and present classes in English, every, in any program, academic English, accelerated English, business English, TOEFL prep, every single course that we present to the world, it's based pretty much on this, uh, on this design. It's pretty much the same design. It's a combined English skill lesson. We stress specifically one English skill, of course, that's why it's called a reading class, it's called a grammar class, writing class. But even though the label, el nombre, the label of the class is grammar and writing or reading comprehension, you are still talking, you're still listening, you're still producing, you're still extending your vocab words, okay? And of course, making sure that you are uh, pronouncing and learning the new sounds correctly. All right, so we use Cambridge LMS, which is based on, uh, it's sponsored by Cambridge University. Uh, we have the license with them. And at the same time, we work with the powerful and well-known Pearson Educational Services. We use Pearson uh, with my English lab for our academic English uh, uh, program and also for the business English. So you will be able, lesson four will be incorporating pretty much Pearson, my English lab tools, plus other tools that I prepare for you for this lesson. All right, so let's start speaking fluently with North Star, listening and speaking tools. So North Star will be the first tool that I will be expanding and I will be interacting with you because this, uh, this practice is not just me talking. You will have a chance to talk, to produce the language. If you want, you can take notes. Can you take pictures? I don't mind if you take pictures. You know, this is being recorded and I will be sharing this at the same time. So you are welcome to do that. Um, what's, what's gonna happen? What's behind the lesson? Well, with love and care, I pretty much designed this afternoon based on, I, I checked, I asked one of our team members, the, the audience. So I really wanna make it special. So I said, okay, what's the level? Because a good class is also using the right tools for the right English level of the students, you know? So people don't get behind, maybe they can be challenged you know, it could be, puede ser un reto, en un momento, but you are still learning, but you're, it's not, you're not getting bored because you are getting new things. So that's the idea. So pretty much the way I designed today's class is pretty much a main concentration, focus on listening, focus on speaking. And of course, uh, I will be incorporating the videos and teaching you how you can also teach your stuff watching Netflix, Prime, Amazon Prime, Hulu, and all the, the, the media um, apps that you are exposed all over the world, all right? Uh, but, you know, learning, watching, and speaking, and producing the language. It's true, I gather specific videos, but you can, you can uh, use the same dynamic watching movies or documentaries or any program. So I'm also teaching you the technique that you can take home and practice and you may continue doing it on your own. Okay, taking our class or not taking out, out any class at the moment with us, but it's pretty much a great satisfaction sharing, you know, this, uh, this afternoon, this evening, you know, ways that you can enhance and improve your English. And of course, we'll be doing pronunciation power. Uh, progressively, we'll be doing a speaking fluently and professionally with business partner interactive drills business partner what is that business partner is an item that we use uh, one of our tools one of our ebooks and workbook and uh, language labs that we use for our business conversation classes all right so um, i'm going to minimize my screen and i'm going to open my class by sharing with you one of our uh, attractive tools it's called pronunciation power 
Uh, I use pronunciation power and I share my account with my teachers, my faculty, uh, which also they all, we all share the same passion, first of all, of teaching. So pronunciation power, we'll be exploring two sounds, the E and uh, we'll be exploring ah. number one, okay? And sound, sound number one, E. Can you please repeat E? E. 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 This is your class. Please repeat E. So that's e. The sound E. Uh, you know E. No es E de iglesia. Mm -mm. It's that E. E. It's, e. It's, it's, it's long. It's a long sound. El sonido es más largo. Okay? Uh, e. And uh, I will also be touching uh, the 39th, which is como el sonido que en el normalmente utilizamos para decir chicle. Ch, 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 that sound, see? ¿sí? But of course, that's in English. And uh, so we have one consonant sound. Miren cuántos sonidos de consonante hay en inglés. Ok. Y mira cuántos sonidos de vocal. Es una gran diferencia que el español, ¿verdad? En, el, en castellano, en español, como universalmente se llama la lengua castellana, más es conocido el español, pero sí es castellano. A, E, I, O, U. Nada más. In English, uh, we have more. We have vowel sounds. We have 18, 18, 1, 8 vowel sounds. So that's the reason what is kind of challenging the pronunciation because the E, la A, Cuando ustedes ven una A, como es en su idioma nativo, mmm, no, realmente, no necesariamente se va, se va a pronunciar como ustedes pronuncian o están acostumbrados a ver la A. En este, tiene muchas derivaciones. Eh, la, like bad, like apple, and schwa, bite. But right now, let's go to uh, e. e. Say E. Say E. 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 All right, so always the messages. So this is the sound. Look at this. E. E. Pronounce it. E. And e. This is also the e. e. This is the this is the external uh, sample when you pronounce, you know, when you produce, you know, the same sound. So the first picture shows you what happens inside your mouth when you pronounce that constant that vowel sound and what people see it, or what people should see it, lo que debería ver, uh, ver las personas cuando ustedes pronuncian ese, ese sonido, okay? So the second one, the second image is what people should, you know, look at you, should, you know, should see it when you pronounce the, the sound. So let me show you. E. E. And look at the lips. E. E. It's like you don't open. All right, um, let's proceed with uh, the exercises is listen and repeat. So listen and repeat. Remember, this is the sound, E. Eat. Eat. Listen and repeat. Your work is to repeat class. This is your class, all right? This is the class, E. Eat. 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 Thank you. Even. 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 Tea. 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 Yo considero que yo como alumna también de inglés como segunda lengua, la manera de que yo me apre aprendí en su oportunidad los, la diferenciación de los sonidos y todo, eh, de las los consonantes. Una palabra, por ejemplo, que este es fácil de acordar, ustedes se pueden acordar y como se pronuncia T en inglés. Entonces, de esa manera, ustedes lo van generalizando a todas las palabras que van asociándolo con ese sonido. Ok, now, I'm not saying memorizing, all right? With, I don't recommend memorizing, but at least just remember making connection, ok, of one word, an easy word, to remember, so you made a connection with that sound. Like, uh, what, uh, como es ese sonido? You will say, well, how is that sound? So you will say, T, T, T. 
¿sí? Chi. Chi. Easy. Easy. Say it, easy. Easy. Thank you. Please. 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 Thank you, please. Repeat. 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 Me. 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 East. Feel. 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 See. See. Tree. 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 Eel. 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 Team. 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 Remember that it's not team. No, no termina en N. Termina en M. Entonces la M se pronuncia así. Mm. It's a label sound. Es un sonido labial. Label sound. So it's mm, como la vaquita. Mm. 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 Team. Mm. Team. 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 Uh -huh. team. 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 Very good. Team. Okay. Then the last one. Funny. 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 Mm -hmm. Funny. Okay, now let's, uh, let's work on comparative words, okay? Comparative. In other words, we compare the, the vowel sound that we're practicing, which is E, remember? Es una E prolongada, no es corta, it's not a short E, it's a long E. Okay? Con la corta. Este sonido, esto es la I corta y esta es la I larga. So listen first. The first step class, now your turn is just listen. And then you will have a chance to repeat and choose the one that is correct, okay? Sheep, ship. Sheep, Eel. sheep. Ill. Feet, fit. Sleep, slip. Clean, clan. Clown. Breezy, busy. Me, my. Me. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Eat, it. Neat, knit. Speak, spike. So there is a difference. Now I invite you to repeat. See? These two sounds are different, okay? They're different. One is long and the other one is short. Sheep, ship. See, one is sheep and the other one is ship. Eel, 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 eel. See, eel, long. The other one is a short E sound, eel, enfermo. Feet, fit. So feet, el pie, no? Los pies, you know? Uh, fit, which is está en forma, ¿no? O, o encaja, el verbo de encajar o estar en forma. So, fit, largo, fit, and then the short one, fit. Feet, fit. Fit. Sleep, slip. Repeat. Clean. Clean. Clan. Clan. Breezy. Breezy. Busy. Busy. Me. Me. My. My. Eat, eat, it, it, eat, eat, it, it. neat, knit, neat, knit, speak, spike, speak, spike. Okay, now is your turn. You're gonna tell me. I really need your participation. Okay, class. I see Lisbeth next to me. I see John. I see Lorena. I see Gabriela. Victor. Daniela, Fernando, Mary. So we have a, you know, a nice group tonight. So what is, what do you have to do? Okay, the speaker will pronounce, of course, the sound. And you need to tell me, you need to tell me in this case, if they both, if this sound, si estos dos sonidos tienen la misma vocal que estamos eh, estudiando, trabajando, which is the E, o lo tienen diferente. En otras palabras, estas dos palabras tienen el sonido de vocal de I larga o I o son realmente diferentes. So if they are, if they have the same sound, you say yes. 
if they have a different sound, you say no. So I will read the instructions, okay? Reading, okay, I will read, you will listen, and you need to process the information, okay? Listen to the sound you are studying. This is the one you are studying. Ah, no. E. E, e. That's the sound you are studying. E. Click on a play button, all right, to hear two words. So you will hear two words. You need to decide, okay, uh, if they both have that sound. So if they both have the sound E, you have to say yes. But if you hear one word, E and the other one, eh, they're not alike, they're not the same, you say no. Do you understand? Is everything okay? Please, if you yes. understand the instructions, give me, raise, uh, leave me a happy face, give me a sign, tell me that you got the instructions. Please. Si todo va bien, indíqueme algo que saben las instrucciones del ejercicio. Thank you, Daniela. Who else? Like a happy face, a clap, anything. So, all right. Thank you, Victor. <laughs> okay, so let's start. Okay, one, two, and three. I'll do some with you, okay? So I'm also part of your group, okay? Eager, easy. Yes or no? I want to repeat again, okay? Eager, easy. Yes or no? Yes. 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 Let's go to the other one. Eagle, end. No. Eagle, no. End. no. Let's go to the third one. Feel, fill. No. No, no. no. Very good. Let's go to the next one. Even. Evan. No. 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 no way. No way. They were actually different. The other. Even. Ape. No. Even. No. Ape. No. Seep. Sip. No. Seep. Sip. No. Yes or no? No. Yes. I don't no. know. <laughs> it was no. Right. Eat. 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 Mm. Eat. Yes. 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 Meat. Might. No. No. Meat. Different. Might. No. Okay, you're correct. Keep. Cat. No. Cat. We have six more. Please, freedom. Please, freedom. No. No. Oh, yes. please, freedom. <laughs> and remember that we're practicing please. Okay, E, the E, E. Funny, T. Funny no. tea. Funny no. tea. Okay. Plea, play. Plea, play. Yes or no? Listen, no. John, this is your no. class. No, no. Ego. there's no punishment. No. Okay. It, okay. It's just your practice. All right. Crazy cry. No. Crazy no. cry. Mm hmm. C sigh. C mm. sigh. No. 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 Happy. Honey. Happy. Honey. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, now uh, we're going to do intonation. All right. Uh, if we had more time, it would be, of course, listening discrimination. I'm gonna do as an example, not as an exercise, as just as a part of a teaching tool, this, so you can see, you can read, and you can also 
differentiate, make a difference with the sounds, which is great because it's not just listening, you are also reading. So in a way for some visual learners, you know, would be a great way to learn and remember, okay? For example, choose which is high, which, uh, which uh, uh, choose which of the highlighted words is set by clicking on it. So please help me. In other words, you need to tell me if the speaker say sheep or sheep, okay? The sheep is very white. The sheep is very white. The first is very white. Is the first one or the second one? The first one. Second. First one. It was the second one. Second. Because, les digo por qué, les digo por qué. Porque ship es barco y es, se, se pronuncia con la I corta. En otras palabras, no con la, la, la de vowel, no con la vocal que estamos eh, practicando. All right, it's not, we're not using the same vowel sound. So it says, we say ship, ship. And the other one, or, uh, el animalito, el peludo, sheep, sheep, you know? So that is correct. Let's do not, the second one. I can easily fill it. First or second one? I can easily oh. fill it. Last. The second. Or the second, you are correct. Yes, excellent. Guess what? Some of you, all right, can get the answer. Maybe you are not sure about the pronunciation. That's another trick. That's an, that's an strategy. If you're taking a, a language proficiency test, maybe you don't know exactly the pronunciation, but if you know the grammar, you can pretty much, you know, get the, get the answer. Uh, what about this one? It was a very big feast. It was a very big feast. The first one or the second one? Feast means celebration. Feast. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, number four. Here. She wore a knit dress. Uh, knit is the quality. A knit means a knit. Now, based on the grammar concept, you don't want to be the answer. So actually, this one, you actually need to know the pronunciation. So she wore a knit dress. The first one or the second one? The second one. The second one, yes. And the, the last one. The scene was very beautiful. The scene was very beautiful. The first one. First or second one? First. 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 Yes, because that one is done. <laughs> okay, uh, to wrap, okay, class, uh, to really uh, conclude the pronunciation, this is more intonation, which is, this is one of my favorites because it tells you if there is a strong, a strong or a weak stress. A stress is acentuación. Y acuérdense que a diferencia del idioma castellano, El idioma inglés no tiene acentuación, ¿ok? Ortográfica, eh, pero sí eh, de sonido, ¿ok? So, por ejemplo. She's a teacher. She's a teacher. ¿Sí? She's a teacher. Say it again. She's a teacher. She's a teacher. Can you see? She's She, a ok, right. Please look at look at my uh, my dashboard, okay? Weak stress es con lo que no se pronuncia tan alto, no se acentúa tan alto. El puntito es is a very light dot, right? And the section y la la sección que hay una mayor eh, elevación, pitch, entonación, el figura el puntito pero uh, bold, a little darker and bigger, un poquito más grande y más acentuado. Entonces, sería. She's a teacher. She's a teacher. Can you see? You can say, she's a teacher. She's a teacher. Uh uh. She's a teacher. So you say, teacher. Teacher. Elevan la e. Teacher. So. She's a teacher. She's a teacher. One or two, like five. What about here? How will you pronounce this word? Uh, what about Gabriela? How would you say? 
this sentence. Can you please read this sentence? Look at the look at the look at the signals. Tiene señales. Tiene. You can you have indicators to pronounce the word. It says here these two are weak stress. This one and these two are a strong stress. So who can pronounce, who could be a volunteer to, pro to read this sentence, please? Okay, Fernando, go ahead. Thank you. These are nice plants. <laughs> These are nice plants, okay. These are nice plants. Not bad, nada mal. These are nice plants. Very nice. These are nice plants. These are nice plants. Okay, let's do one more. Oh, this is a question. Pregunta. Look at the look at the dots. See, weak stress, strong stress. So, uh, who could be the next volunteer? El otro voluntario. ¿Quién podría ser? Recuerda que we're practicing the E. Okay. Yes. Did he call me? Did he call me? Did he call me? Very good. Call me. This one. Who can say this? Go ahead, the volunteers. Put, put the milk. Put the milk in the tea. Put the milk in the tea, all right? Mm -hmm. And finally, who can say this? Christina, can you say it? I see a nice picture of Christina. Go ahead, Christina, or who can who can uh, participate? Daniela, can you say it? Are you there? Yes. Yes, of course. Okay. This okay. honey is sweet. Remember. This honey is sweet. It's sweet. Excellent. All right. So I believe. Uh, I just want to touch. Um, I will just give you, that was a consonant sound. And I want to show you a little bit of um, this sound, okay? The pronunciation of ch, 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 ch. all right. Uh, I wanna do one exercise, just, but not sentences, just sample words, because I need to show you. Um, I have an agenda to cover. All right, so this is part of, of course, the agenda, you know, the pronunciation portion, uh, but uh, we need to explore more about um, some expressions. Okay, so what about this one? Chop. Chop. Children. Children. Lunches. Lunches. Such. Such. So listen, ch, ch. So, for, you know, just please, you know, uh, this is your class pronounce this uh, consonant sound. In this case, uh, uh, lesson one on pronunciation was the E sound, and it was pretty much a vowel sound. This is an example of a consonant sound, which is the ch. Parecido como lo dije al iniciar la clase, el mismo sonido que utilizamos cuando decimos chicle en castellano, okay? Ch, ch, ch. So, listen and repeat. Cheap. Cheap. Riches. Riches. Watching. Watching. Each. 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 Chest. Ch ch chest. Searching. Searching. Which. Which. Ch see? Ch Search. Search. Chair. Chair. Picture. Picture. Much. 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 All right. And, uh, all right, I want to do maybe five or six. Chip, ship. Cheap, jeep. Cheap, sheep. Which, wish. Listen in discrimination. Okay, oh, let's do some, all right, with this shit. You, you, you are an expert now. You already did the same exercise but using a vowel. We wanna do the same exercise, but of course we wanna, you know, practice the, the consonant sound. Right? Chair. T. 
tear. Chair, tear. Do they share the consonant sound? Comparten el sonido en consonante que estamos practicando estas dos palabras o no? Sí o no? Yes or no? I'm going to play. Uh, lo voy a tocar de nuevo, ¿ok? Chair, tear. Yes or no? No. Yeah. They agree with you. Yes, you're right. Let's go for the second yeah. one, ¿ok? Excellent. So listen, listen, listen. Remember, the sound, our target sound is the ch, como chicle, okay? So my work, our work, is to identify if these two words are sharing the same consonant sound. Yes or no? Okay. Chain. 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 Yes or no? <laughs> Team. Team. Yes or no, Pat? It was no. No. <laughs> yes. Butcher. Ketchup. Butcher. Ketchup. Yes. yes. Or no? <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. And one more. Okay, one more. Chap. Tap. Chap. Oh. Tap. Mm -hmm. No. No, yes. no, 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 no. All right. Uh, sure. No, not that one. We want the level one sentences. See? I like my teacher. Teacher. I like my teacher. How much are the peaches? How much are the peaches? All right. And I need a volunteer. Okay, I need two volunteers for the third one and the fourth one. What about this? Who can, who can read this, this sentence? Hi. Okay, Anthony, me. You say me. Anthony, go ahead. Keep your watch for the time. Not bad. Very good. And thank you for stressing the ch sound. Excellent. Check your watch for the time. Very good. Check your watch for the time. Remember, mm -hmm. it's true that we our lesson was not based on our M sound but I already taught you that this is the M, okay? And that really makes a difference. If you pronounce correctly, or at least do your best to identify the consonant sound of the word or the vowel sound, it actually makes a difference in your pronunciation. You may forget the last part, the part in between, but it doesn't matter, go for it. Practice, apply that, that's the same thinking of pronouncing the consonant and vowel sounds for every single word that comes to you, okay? And what about this one? Who can, who can read this one? Children, Ooh, sorry, who can say Me. it? Me? Yeah, please go ahead. Thank you. Um, ch children love the chew gum. Very good. Children love to chew gum. Mm -hmm. Children love to chew gum. Excellent. So I want to say bye-bye. Goodbye. Goodbye, pronunciation power. Thank you for helping us tonight. So I want to just uh, touch briefly, you know, um, some, some highlights of North Star. I really love North Star. Um, it's, I don't know, it's loading. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, it's loading. I'm going to, okay, share with you, okay, some functional language that we will be covering in one of the lessons, all right, as part of our agenda and lesson plan. Uh, we do have um, in presentations, doing presentation, let me make it bigger. We say, welcome. How do you welcome your audience? You say, thank you for coming today. I would like to thank everyone for being here. And that was pretty much what I said when I just met you. Uh, you may provide an outline, you know, or a sketch of your work, of your presentation. So you have to say, or you may say, well, I'm here to talk about our latest sales figures, or I am here to talk about our estimate 
for our new project, okay, our new figures, uh, telling the audience when they can ask questions. You can say, feel free, and even in writing, not just speaking, you always say, feel free to ask questions during the presentation. I'll be happy to answer questions at the end of the presentation. So that's what I'm saying, all right? So I'll be happy to answer questions, of course, regarding our program and our lesson, okay, after the presentation. Uh, so let's get it started. Uh, moving from one point to another, you can say now let's move on to, or next we'll look at, and then you use your transitional words as usual, first, second, then finally, and so forth. Um, inviting questions. Does anyone have a question? You can say. Can you please uh, repeat uh, after me? Does anyone have a question? Can you say it, please? Yes, I am a question. question. Thank you. Any questions? Any questions? Any questions? Any questions? Any questions? Any questions? That's more informal, but it's still acceptable, especially if you work with these people, right? And it's not a formal meeting. You can say that. Are there any further questions? Más preguntas, eh, una manera más profesional, in a, a very professional way, we we'll say, are there any further? Are there any further? Lo más típico sería, do you have more no, 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 no. questions? You know, es lo más usado. Eh, are there more questions? Y también es, es apropiado, pero una manera mucho más técnica y profesional sería, are there any further questions? So please, audience, repeat. Farther. Farther. No, no, father. No, father. Farther. 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 Yes. Farther. Are there, yes. Are there any farther questions? You know, are there any farther questions? Okay. Are there questions? any farther questions? Questions. Very good. Then questions. thank you. You know, being thankful. Of course, being thankful is always the plus. So you have to say that. Interesting. Please, please place a mute. Okay, that's an interesting question. Thanks. Good question. Thanks. Thank you for your question. That would be another expression, you know? Asking for clarification, making sure the question is answered, uh, welcoming people, and so forth. You know, I will be uh, providing this gift. I will be sharing this gift with Daniela. So. Uh, for all the participants of tonight, you know, uh, you, you can receive this as a gift, all right? If you stay till the end. So let me say goodbye to that one. Something happened with... All right, maybe that's why. All right, okay, this is, listen. Uh, uh, okay, words that persuade. Well, I'm gonna cover some materials, some exercises of words that persuade. Persuade means to convince, convince, persuade, okay? Uh, oh my God. Can you please place in mute? There's something, there is a background. There's, it's noisy. Muchas gracias. All right. Um, I wanna just, uh, I wanna skip that one. Mm -hmm. So we wanna do, okay, which is, you know, because it's already eight. All right. This is one of the nice to predict. All right. I want to read the instructions. All right. Uh, predict. Uh, it will be nice if you take notes. It will be fantastic, really. All right. Why? Because I will be asking questions based on the video. So this is your listening, taking notes, all right, and speaking practice. Because, of course, I will be asking questions. Um, and we will be interacting. So I will be using this video, all right, as a main tool for communication. One of the main targets, you know, for today's lesson, which is, of course, speaking and listening fluently, you know. 
uh, predict, predict. To predict is the verb, you know? Uh, prediction, a prediction will be a noun, all right? In this video, okay, I'm gonna give you the intro. In this video, a university professor, all right, talks about men's and women's communication styles, ways people, especially women, communicate, express themselves. Do you think she will talk about similarities, differences, or both? Before you watch the video, think about the men and women you know and how you would describe their communication styles. So this is, so before we watch the video, I really want you to tell me, all right, uh, your prediction. How, in other words, how do, how do men communicate more often and how do women do, all right? Are there similarities? Are there, are there differences? Or um, pretty much the, the, she will be, the speaker will be talking about, you know, um, both. So what do you think? So before you watch the video class, think about the men and women. Okay, yes, please. Uh, okay, let me see who, erase, who uh, okay. All right, Lisbeth and Fernando. Okay, ladies first. Lisbeth, uh, please tell me. Tell me your prediction before watching the video. Um, this is your speaking. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say, before you watch the video, vamos a empezar a ver un video. Okay, think oh. about men and women you know, and how you would describe their communication styles. Based on your experience, all right, in this world, interacting with men and women, what do you think or what is your conclusion on how, how women and how men communicate? Um, I think they communicate uh, in formal way. And who is they? Uh, in formal way. Men, men? Do you mean just women, or you mean just men? Be more specific. Uh, For men and women, both. Um, both, 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 both. Okay, both. Mm -hmm. Men and women. Uh -huh. Okay. All right, uh, Fernando, what do you say about this question before we watch this video and then we ask uh, we do, uh, a comprehension uh, activity? Fernando, you raise your hand or Gabriela. Hello. Um, to me, I think uh, the differences between both are, uh, depends on the context. Okay. Uh, for example, men um, uh, speaks uh, when, they, when they are in the cancha, the football, for example, <laughs> and they have a, a dialogue, a different dialogue or, um, Mm -hmm. with uh, the vocabulary is different than woman. Okay. So based on the context, on the city, in the city. Yes. For, for me, is the context. All right. And women, what, what is your comment about women? How do women uh, In the same situation uh, about the context, for example, when women uh, when we go, uh, for example, um, to, um, I don't know, hairstyle, for example, como se dice? Yeah, hairstyle, beauty. Uh, yeah, yes, yes, we have a different manner to communicate with other women. Other women, yes. Yeah, absolutely. Women, yeah. Excellent. Okay, so let's find out. Class, let's find out. Please place it mute. I don't know. It's really noisy. So um, just watch the video okay? and take notes. From a very early age, actually, from the time that we're born, little boys and little girls, men and women, tend to be socialized in different ways, often what's called different cultures. 
And over time, what can happen is that this can have a powerful influence on how both men and women are expected to behave, the characteristics that are associated with masculinity and femininity. And these characteristics can have an enormous impact on their professional and personal lives. And while all groups, different cultures, different economic groups, different religious backgrounds have different values that are actually appropriate to their culture, they also learn to teach and learn to value different notions of masculine and feminine behavior that are what we call gender differences. Uh, for example, it's often assumed, or generally assumed, it's a general co and common stereotype assumption that women will tend to be more nurturing and more cooperative in their interactions with others. Another stereotype just as powerful for men is that it's generally taken for granted that men are comfortable learning how to be assertive and competitive in their interactions with others. This can lead to separate what we call linguistic cultures, which result or can result in different styles of both verbal and nonverbal communication. While such tendencies can contribute to misunderstandings, there are of course exceptions. Examples are that not 100% of women and not 100% of men are raised to embrace for women nurturing and cooperation or what we call more the passive kinds of behavior or that neither are 100% of males enculturated or grow up in households where they learn to be competitive and where they can't learn to be themselves nurturing and empathic. Expectations of differing comfort levels with communication styles among women and men may create gaps between what is expressed by a speaker and importantly, how it's interpreted by the listener. I teach courses in gender and communication and some of what I look at are the nonverbal and verbal communication behaviors that often are associated with the masculine and feminine stereotype, that is with males and females behaviors. Excellent. All right. So let's get back to business. All right. Um, I'm gonna just give you, I'm gonna just switch from the student perspective. I have on the teacher's perspective. So let's do some a quick uh, listening compre uh, comprehension, you know, activity. So from the time they are born, boys and girls in most cultures are socialized in similar ways. True or false, class? Hello? Repeat, please. Of course, of course. When I get back to the... the Okay, after watching the video, and of course there were some images, so you can also, you know, assimilate the content. All right, from the time they are born, boys and girls in most cultures are socialized in similar ways. True false. or false? False. Okay, uh, three. The characteristic associated with masculinity and femininity are different in every culture. Yes or no, true or false? True. True. Okay. true. Uh -huh. The characteristics associated with masculinity and femininity have an impact on men's and women's professional lives. True. True. Mm -hmm. Stereotypes, so important nowadays, right? The stereotypes about men and women are almost always true. False. Okay. And finally, separate linguistics, uh, separate linguistic styles can lead, pueden llevar, can lead to differences in both verbal and nonverbal communication. True. True. Okay. All right. So let's check your answers. Okay. Say so cancel. So guess what? Uh, we didn't select the first one. Men or women class? We didn't the stereotype is that are nurturing uh, women. Okay, so the first one is women. So the stereotype is that women are, are nurturing and, and what? Men. And men are what? Assertive? 
or women are assertive? Women. Men. All right. So now, now that we have everything complete, let's submit. Oh, congratulations. We got a hundred. We got a hundred. Okay. So I believe that uh, we've had a wonderful, but wonderful session. So I'm going to, um, hold on. I want to stop. Okay. Uh, I just want to share, okay, with you. All right. Um, just to a quick writing. All right. Some of you, this is the typical writing style model answer when you write in business in the business world all right remember this orientation and one of the content of this class was pretty much you know um, to present uh, some business the business english business word listen speaking with fluency so this is also one opening you know look at the opening pretty much in a formal way uh, in a closing letter in a formal getting a starter reason for writing Okay, I believe that, okay, in other words, you know, we go from foundation, we incorporate grammar, we incorporate listening, speaking, reading comprehension, and, uh, and of course, we assimilate uh, words, vocab words, technical words into the business world. Where else do we need to apply? We, we learn English. English is English, you know, subject, verb, complement, rules, conjugations. But of course, we oriented you know we or you know we have the you know the direction of a specific field in this case business uh the medical field you know and then of course uh, guiding the same technical word you know and applying the same linguistic structures so everything is connected so i believe that we'll be sharing you know we'll be giving you a gift you know if you participate you know, the whole entire you know uh session so I, it's true that I stay extra minutes, you know, but with a lot of love, I really enjoy having you. And I really, you know, I'm very satisfied of a, an explained audience. So thank you very much for being a great, um, a great uh, audience. So I'm going to, um, okay, no, mm -hmm. just you. Mm -hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you.